Democratic, Hispanic, and beat that. They used to laugh at me, like look at little homie, rapping his little songs, throwing his little parties. I told these niggas I'm finna blow, and they thought it was funny. And now it shows I'm finna blow, and now they hatin' on me. But shit, I keep going, little slugger keep flowing. Work in the drought, little slugger keeps going. I ain't stopping, nigga, I ain't turning down. I'm pissed off, cause all these niggas be hatin' now. But I give a fuck, it's either that or see bro. Let me just try to figure out what's been up with Slugger, man. Man, you know, I've been touring, you know, I've been for about almost a year now. Last time I take my job with the State 16, you know, I mean, I've been working a lot, a lot of moving around, you know, a lot of trying to find out what to do, what next steps will be. And I also got a little one on guitar, too, so, you know, I'm really getting a father. Trying to do a lot of stuff with it on the line. For sure. What's it like being a father in the rap? Yeah, I've been a father in the rap, and it's really tight and soon. There's a lot of balance in the time. You know, a lot of times she calls me and gives me a couple of days. And my way, I'm gonna have to go back to school. I wish I was spend some time with her. You know, it's your birthday time. We go stuff like that. Like, it's your little part. But different aspects of life keep trying to function like you can't even miss. You know, and miss out on the first step. So it's really just balancing the time. For sure, man. Um, what you, where you coming from? Where, where you been? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Back and forth on the road, Statesboro, Atlanta, Florida, South Carolina. You know, just a lot of different places networking, you know, doing a lot of different things, trying to get a lot of stuff with it in order to like this mix it. Another project I'm already working on, I'm already got forward in motion. It's coming right after it, and it's gonna drop on my birthday uh, in August. So, just basically trying to get everything attached. So, when it's ready to drop, it'll drop real smooth. I don't gotta worry about crying, trying to do this last minute, do that last minute, trying to get everything on the line. So, who's hosting your mix today? We mix it up to my DJ Jeans, the same thing with your sequel nigga. First one I put a lot of mixtapes. Him and another DJ and DJ B Chain. We can change the game a lot of cash crooks. We can hold up raw. We also make some DJs on the ground. A lot of pretty good brothers. Uh, B Chain do the uh, Milano Street Series. A lot of mixtapes. We host a lot of artists. We host Jeans. That's a prank. Jeans been doing tapes for a long time. We got a lot of street as eggs. You know, he's pushing a lot of different people to use it. So, you know, just keep me grinding a bit. So, let me ask you, man, what you, what you trying to get out of this rap game, man? Out of, out of rap game, what you trying to get? You know, really, I'm just trying to get comfortable enough where I can bless those who, you know, bless me or my family or whatever like that. I don't want to get comfortable enough where I can give back. I want to be able to give instead of just receiving. I want to get to the point where I can give. So, man. So, do you still do your parties or and stuff like that? I mean, the promotion came out and really was something I started when I was younger. You know, it was a, it was a good experience. But my main focus always was the music. When I first started doing parties, I just did it because when I went out to different people parties, they wouldn't even let me pay for them sometimes. It was like, well, just know we just gonna want to hear the music just because at the time I might have been young and kind of reckless and doing a lot of things that I ain't know now. Being out of the church, but a lot of people just they see out before I even to try to get a chance to shine when I was so I say shit, this all they doing is rent the building, paying for promotion to throw parties. Shit, I'm a rent a building, pay for promotion to throw parties. So really that's how they came around. And I walked into a situation where I got the gym girls and I started doing the pictures and the modeling for some of them on the promotional team with them. So basically what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and slide out of the party situation that people are having the party. I'm going to focus on my music, that's what I was looking for. So, okay, that's what's up, man. So, when you made that transition, how long you been rapping now? I mean, I've been rapping. I started rapping when I was about 10 years old. Well, I was about 10, because my cousin who I was up on a lot, he had to be like 13 or so. I started when I was about 10. We was basically just freestyling. We never even wrote. I ain't never wrote a song until I was like 14, man. First song I ever wrote. Everything we just use a freestyle. Get them in, listen to the beat, freestyle. We never recorded it, we just freestyle. We just kept it moving in our head, we locked in the love situation with you. And then uh, I started actually recording. The first song I recorded was like in 04, I want to say, or 03. And then it was just on from there. Now I know, I know the mix take fire and everything, but I'm going to ask you this hard question, man. Pick one song. What's your favorite track off the mix take? I mean, my favorite track off this mix take right here. Have to be probably, uh, it have to be on you know, feel like me because it's like a song that I'm really expressing, like you know, different aspects of life, different things I'm going through, you know, and what separates me from everybody else. 
it's really a, a song that showing everybody what makes me stand out, what makes Slutty Slutty, and what other situation is. So, man, so you in this new city, man? How is it? What, what's it like moving to a new city in the rap game? Yeah, I mean, it's great. I mean, I'm out networking with a few people. A few people I already knew up here in Atlanta. You know, I made the move a couple of months back, trying to go ahead and, and branch out with this music. I've been doing it in Savannah and it's cool for quite, quite some time. Statesboro, about Austin, Jacksonville, and South Carolina. Uh, so, I mean, I'm just really trying to get up here in a more broad environment where there's a lot of people working. And there's a lot of people that's actually trying to network. Because up there, you can run with anybody. You, know, you might walk in the club one night. I don't know tell who in the club. Just on the home phone. You got your CD over oh, there. Yeah, check it out. Like, about this. Not about that. So, really just trying something new. Okay, for sure, man. Man, I know we see you. We see you on the net and everything. So tell us what what's the net talking about? What's the streets talking about? Struggling? I mean, yeah, I mean, I get a lot of love, but at the same time, you know, with anybody who's grinding for what they want, or who's everybody seen around for quite some time, you know, you get a lot of negative feedback, positive feedback. You know, but most of all, you know, a lot of people show me a lot of love. They know where I came from. And they saw me when my mom died when I was in freshman year high school, and they ain't had shit. And got down two years later, nigga still 16 with his license, still bought his first whip, still got down, did what every other child was doing who had the support that I didn't have. So a lot of people just, you know what I'm saying, keep it real and still show me the love off the shrimp. So they know I, I made something out of nothing. So I'm all about Brick Squad and Trapper Hollis. You know what I mean? You know, got down. I mean, I fuck with Trapper, whatever, like that. There ain't no, uh, no label deal or nothing like that. I don't sign. It's just a situation where. You know, I hollered at him and he was like, shit, yeah, you got some type of shit, you know. Let's put some shit together and drop a new trip or something and see where it's going to go. You feel me? But yeah, that's, that's about it, though. I mean, I hollered at him and he was going around and I was about that shit like that. Uh, I really had to wait for like a year now. I was supposed to drop a trap all this season since last year. But like, shit, I really got a lot of other shit going on besides rapping. Shit, this ain't just really like my main focus or shit. Now I'm going to take some time and really put it to the side. Really going to drop all this music I got recorded. So, man, so you, what, what's the new projects coming up besides the mixtape? Alright, I mean, we got the mixtape coming up. Besides that, we got another one that's going to drop. I'm going to drop Chuck Hollis on my birthday, August the 30th. Uh, I mean, I got another branch of the Get em Girl we started in Atlanta. I got another little artist in the A that I'm checking out. I think I'm going to try to grab him on the team and be the first artist. My little cousin in Savannah. He doing this thing, shit. He keep telling me to fuck with him. I'm going to put some shit together and fuck with him. But besides that shit, I mean, just a lot of work and a lot more visuals. I got another video about to come out, unreleased track, um, unmentioned track. You know, we shot it in Atlanta. Uh, I got uh, just a lot of grinding, man, a lot of networking. I got a lot of new songs. I got like 50 songs recorded already, but I ain't even dropped the shit yet because I'm on some other shit just basically trying to get where I want to be at. You know, I ain't trying to be a rapper that's out here, got down, rapping about all this shit here, and he ain't even satisfied with what he got going on on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm trying to have my day-to-day -day script first. But shit, other than that, it's a lot of grinding. For sure, man. We all here, man. We here with Slugger, man. Getting it in. Grinding hard. For sure. We be back, man. We back with Slugger Seapoke, nigga. You feel me? Two G's, two P's. Get them girls, see you, all that good shit. You feel me? Man, tell us, man, tell us about a long time coming mixtape, man. A long time coming, this is like a combination mixtape. I started my life. It's gonna drop with a DVD with a lot of footage from back when we were back when I first started going to party like six years ago. You know, you know, you'll see a lot of familiar faces in that bitch. You put some guys used to be coming to the party. You know, how I used to go out. How we used to have that thing crazy. We got that. <laughs> But yeah, you'll see a lot of different shit, you know, from when I came up, you know, a lot of shit, a lot of history or whatever, you feel me? From a while back, so these niggas, you know, I ain't, I ain't just out doing this shit or whatever. But, uh, the mixtape is a compilation of three different mixtapes, basically a lot of different songs from Interstate 16 and Seaport Nigga, that's some new shit too. Just getting ready for the next shit that's about to come out. But yeah, we going real hard, you know, it's going to be a real good movement. I'm going to put a lot of niggas up there and a lot of heavy. A lot of niggas showing love, I'm going to make some for me, some shit, that's what's up. Let's get it, shit. About to the end of this uh, interview, you feel me? Shit, there's anything else you want to say to the people? Shit, what do you want to say? Shout out to everybody out there on the grind, man. Um, you get it from when you keep your head strong, man. Stand tall, man. And you don't need to be scared, man. You don't want to cook anything. You don't want that shit going to be nuts. You don't got this, but when you can't get that, you feel me? Grind out, you get the fuck you want. 
What's up, bro? I'm a secret, nigga. I'm a 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 nigga. New videos on the way, new mixtapes on the way, yeah, then I said it twice, nigga, new money on the way, cause I ain't gonna stop around, nigga, you gonna take about to keep coming, shout out to all my real niggas, man, on the hood, nigga, I'm nigga, fuck me, I'm from a city, from a hood, you from, man, everybody stay at it, man. Sweat it out, nigga. Grind hard, nigga. Let's go. A long time coming. A long time coming. A long 